Lectures Grade 9 Biological Science. For the first video, for this first video, you are going to be studying the following for the following learning competency, and it is as follows. Explain how the respiratory and circulatory systems work together to transport nutrients, gases, and other molecules to and from the different parts of the body. You will be needing your learner's mojo, Unit 1, Module 1, pages 3 to 6. So let's start. This video has three parts. The first part is a pre-assessment. It is a KWHL chart. And the second part is an activity, Activity 1, Part B, the Human Respiratory System. The last part is going to be a discussion about the parts of the res human respiratory system. For the pre-assessment, you have the following directions. Fill in the KWHL chart below to assess your prior knowledge and understanding of the topic, respiratory and circulatory systems, working with the other organ systems. So for the first column, you have there, what do I know? You need to please put anything, actually maximum of three, for all the things that you actually already know. W column, what do I want to find out? So what would you like to learn? You may give me a maximum of three. H, how can I find out what I want to learn? So you basically have to think of a way to, for you to be able to get that kind of knowledge, that kind of understanding that you have enlisted in the second column. And then later on, you will be doing, you will be, uh, Furnishing the contents of the last column, which is what did I learn? At the bottom most row skills I need to use you may list any kind of skill that you think is um, of Actually of utmost importance in approaching all of the questions that you may have Such as say for instance critical thinking such as of being open-minded resourcefulness, any, any kind of skill that you think you may need. So that's it for the first part of pre-assessment. Let us now jump to activity number one, part B, the human respiratory system. For this, you need to label the parts of the human respiratory system by writing the name of the organ being pointed by each number next to it. So you, on your answer sheets, you may write numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then next to that, you need to just pay attention to the arrow being shown by this slide. And then you have to write the name of the organ for number 1, what organ or what part of the human respiratory is being pointed. Number 2. Notice that they are really close to each other. Number three. Number four. If I am going too fast, you may pause this video. Number five. And last number, number six. Number six is pointing to those um, lighter red um, circles that you see right there. So let's now deal with the first answer. If you're ready, if number one is nostrils, number two, the nose, trachea, number three, number four is bronchi, number five is bronchioles, and number six is alveoli. Count the number of correct answers and please write your score on the upper right corner of your answer sheet. That ends the second part, activity number one, part B, the human respiratory system. For the discussion, you need to, fo you need to focus on the following, please. If you may have some questions as I proceed with the discussion, you may just... Um, Perhaps just uh, contact me, you know me, or you may just repeat uh, this entire video because basically what I'm going to try and try to do is I am going to cover everything that you need to, to say in this advanced video lesson. So let's start.
The human respiratory system, the first organ system that we are going to talk about in this uh, in this year, actually we only have two, the next one being the circulatory system, is actually um, respiration. Okay, So it is concerned with the respiration that is involving the gases and the kind of respiration that happens at a gross level. So as a whole, what kind of respiration? Um, it's inhaling and exhaling. Okay, so that is the concern of the human respiratory system. Because uh, you may actually just uh, you may actually tell me that there is this other kind of respiration, cellular respiration, that doesn't really involve uh, the lungs or any part that we discussed a while ago. Well, you are right because the respiration that we are talking about now refers to the process of inhaling and exhaling gas for the purpose of achieving homeostasis, homeostasis. So in this process, the air enters the nostrils and, it's, and it is filtered by cilia, which are hair projections inside your, no, your nose. So that is the kind of respiration we are talking about. It is the kind of respiration that concerns a human respiratory system. So when we are talking about the parts of the human respiratory system, we are actually more concerned about the process of inhaling and exhaling, the process of, ex of respiration. So where is air going to enter the body and then how is it, where is it going to proceed next and then where next and then where next and then um, how will it go to or come to a point when it is going to leave the body in a man. So in this illustration, it is not going to be shown, so you have to just focus on what I am uh, what I am telling you, what I am discussing or describing. So air is going to first enter through the nostrils. It is this okay, pedi nostril, but in some oral cavity natin. And then air is going to proceed with uh, to towards the pharynx. The pharynx is the uh, yung sa may bandang likod ng throat ninyo, natin, okay. And then we'll be proceeding to the larynx, which is also known as our voice box. Now, you were able to make um, sound using the larynx simply because it is capable of interacting with the air that you are breathing. If you are not breathing, if you are not inhaling or exhaling anything, you cannot actually produce any sound. So after that, it will be proceeding to the trachea or the windpipe. It is going to diverge into the left and right bronchi or left bronchus or right bronchus through the carina of stachia. And then the bronchi, okay, so that's plural, a bronchus is, is singular. A bronchus is going to divide, to be divided, okay, it's going to be divided into the bronchioles. So I think it is not shown in there, but yeah, it will continue towards becoming uh, the, I mean, towards the bronchioles. But the divide share into the bronchioles. And the bronchioles are directly connected to the alveoli. The alveoli is the actual site of gas exchange. Alveoli stands for the plural form, whereas its singular form is alveolus. So remember, these are the actual sites of gas exchange. The transport of blood in and out of the lungs is called the pulmonary circulation. Say, um, it, I mean, gas is, is inhaled and then it will be coming to a point when it reaches the alveoli. It is, where, it is in the alveoli kung saan siya ma-absorb ng body natin. And then sa alveoli din, ibibigay ng body natin yung carbon dioxide naman. Yung gas na nagamit, na, yung gas na nagamit na, it is a waste product of our different cells. So, that transport of blood in the first place na nangyayari sa alveoli is called pulmonary circulation. So, let me just, I need, I, I think I just have this need to sort of like repeat that. Remember, the site of gas exchange is not in the lungs, it is in the alveoli. Sa alveoli, ma-absorb ng body natin yung oxygen, at sa alveoli din, ibibigay ng body natin, give off ng body natin yung waste na carbon dioxide para dalhin siya ng uh, respiratory system natin palabas ng 
body. Okay, so this is a really short introduction video lesson and I hope that you were able to score really high in the pre-assessment because I think that uh, even though it may be like the first time in a long time that I discuss a little sa inyo, you still remember pretty much of how the human respiratory system is functioning. So again, for this video, we had three parts. The first part being the pre-assessment. It had um, several questions. It's the KWHL chart, and uh, you are still going to wait for. I know you are still going to wait for some quite uh, quite some time for you to be able to fill out the last column. Okay, right, so. Um, just wait. And then for the second part, it's an activity one, it's the activity one, part B, the human respiratory system. In that uh, part of our, of our video, you answered six questions. Right, so I hope that you aced that. And then for the last part, it is, a, it is a discussion about the parts of the human respiratory system. So again, when dealing when you are dealing with the parts of the human respiratory system, you are more often asking um, about the process of respiration. I mean, how is air going to enter the body of a human? And then how is it going to be processed? I mean, the steps, the stations, that that air is going to go through until it gets out of the body again. So those are the three parts and we are we have completed them. Again, this is grade nine biological science. We are still go we are still going to discuss or to have another session to master explanations how the respiratory and circulatory systems work together to transport nutrients, gases, and other molecules to and from the uh, different parts of the body. So we have completed the use of the pages 3 to 6 of Unit 1, Module 1. See you next time.